Guys, Property Boy Customs here. What we're going to do today is install our new anode kit on our Bravo 3 uh, Outdrive. It's uh, made by Merc Cruiser, and this is on our Bayliner Sierra 24.5. So this is the uh, kit we ordered off Amazon Canada. It came to roughly $140 Canadian delivered. It comes with the uh, six anodes that you're going to need to uh, replace the old ones on the Outdrive. So let's take a look inside, see what we got. In the kit, this goes on the front of your outdrive, this goes on your prop shaft, this goes on your hydraulics for raising your outdrive, and this goes underneath the uh, fin just above your uh, propellers. And it comes with all your nuts you need, and you can see that it comes pre installed with a thread locker on it, the uh, blue thread locker as well. It has some uh, lock washers. The first one we're going to do is a prop shaft. You need a 13 millimeter socket and when you unscrew this you're going to have to hold your uh, props. See that's been on quite a while so we're going to have to clean this surface. Alright so showing the old one and the new one. You can see how much corrosion that's taking place with the old one. That's why you do this every year. Don't cheap out and do this every couple years. It certainly will save you a lot of money in the long run. So anyways, to install this, you can see you have your nut here. It's just gonna fit in, just like that. But make sure your area is clean. I've uh, cleaned this out and gave it a little uh, sanding. You're gonna have your new bolt and washer There you go. There's no torque uh, settings for this, but tighten it up hand tight. Again, when you're uh, tightening it up, you're going to have to hold the uh, prop so it doesn't want to spin. Now, the next ones we're going to do are on the uh, pistons here. This will uh, raise and lower your outdrive. This is an 8 millimeter. There's one here and one on the bottom. And you can see the amount of corrosion on this. Definitely in need of a replacement. So to install it, again, make sure this area is nice and clean. And put your new anode on and your little nut with your lock washer on it. All right, that one's on. Just a little tip. It's easier to do the bottom one and get it lined up first, the one closest to the inside of your outdrive, and then do the one that you can actually see second. That way it's easier to line up the uh, bolt going in. Again, these uh, go on hand tight. Just make sure they're on good though so they don't uh, pop off when you're underway. And you're gonna do the exact same step on the other side. Next uh, project, we're going to try see if we can get up the uh, barnacle scale after. So the next two anodes are just above the uh, propellers. Let's take off the back one. It's a 13 millimeter. There you go. That's just looking at the new one compared to the old one. To install this one, I'm actually going to pop off this one also. So to take that off, you need to pop off this little rubber cover. And put an extension on, 13 millimeter again. And unscrew it from the top instead of the bottom. Once you get the anode off, to get the old bolt out, just stick a screwdriver 
from the uh, bottom and you'll pull it right out of the uh, top there so the anode with the threads is going to go in the front and you're going to feed the uh, bolt down from the top so the front anode's been uh, tightened down don't forget to put your little rubber boot in if you do get a little water in here there are drain holes in the bottom too so we're going to do the uh, next anode and again make sure this area is clean and it's going to be bolted from the bottom up through anodes right on the front of your out drive and the reason you want it tipped up is so you're able to access the two bolts that are in here and these are 14 millimeter so we're going to take those off Alright, so here's the old one and here's the new one. So we're going to install the new one with the uh, new bolts with the lock washers on them. Again, make sure to clean your surface. Alright, so we're all done. There's the uh, anode on the prop shaft, the two underneath, and the two on the hydraulics, as well as the one on the front of the out drive. This was the hardest one to uh, get off the uh, bolt towards the back, and these are 14 millimeter. It was a little uh, tough to get off, but I was able to get it off. So the next little project is to clean off all the uh, barnacle uh, residue. I believe this is just calcium buildup and it's next to impossible to get off, but that's the next project. Uh, just taking a look at the old anodes. I'm going to keep these so at the end of the season and when we uh, replace it with uh, new anodes either in the fall or next spring, I'll uh, compare the uh, current ones that are on the uh, out drive, the new ones, compared to the uh, old ones here and we'll see if there's any more electrolysis going through the uh, water and whatnot to uh, see the amount of corrosion on them again I bought this off Amazon Quicksilver so this is a mercury brand anode kit again there's lots of other uh, ones you can get off brands so this season we're going to be going through lots of maintenance videos and uh, we'll be doing a over uh, view of the uh, boat nice uh, review on the uh, Merc uh, 5 liter V8 and the uh, Bravo 3 out drive on it and we'll uh, see how this uh, boat works so we'll be doing lots of uh, videos on this so make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification and if you have any questions or comments or tips and suggestions on uh, maintenance and whatnot on this boat uh, make sure you post them below if not thanks for watching